Welcome to ABOM. Today we're going to build the catapult kit. It's a nice, easy build. All the parts fit together uh, quite simply, and it'll be put together in well under an hour. Uh, along the way, I'll try and give some tips and tricks that make your life a little bit easier, and also wind up in a model that looks and works a lot better. Let's get started. So we'll get our supplies together. We're going to use 150 grit sandpaper to remove all the laser residue and any of the dirt off of the boards. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and use 220 grit, and that's to put a nice fine finish on the product so it's nice to the touch and looks good. Um, in addition to the sandpaper, you're going to need a pair of scissors, uh, just any old scissors will do, and um, some glue. I'm using Lepage's uh, super glue. You got to be careful with this stuff. You can glue your fingers to your head, your head to the table. Uh, so just take care, use a little bit. And um, uh, you'll need a paper clip, just a plain ordinary paper clip. And I'm using a sanding block. This is just a plain ordinary piece of wood. Uh, it can be a two by four, or any piece of scrap you've got lying around, as long as it's got square sides, it'll work just fine. All right, so that's about all we need and we're ready to get going. So we'll go ahead and we'll open the part. Uh, I'm just going to use a pair of scissors here and just slice the kit open and uh, get rid of the plastic from the outside. Good enough. All right, so we'll set the instructions aside and we'll get the piece of cord off and we'll put that aside. And now we'll go to town scrubbing this. So I'm going to take a half a sheet of 150 grit sandpaper and wrap it around that sanding block. All right, so just fold it around the block. Nice and easy like that. And now you start scrubbing. And I go at about a 45 degree angle to the grain and this just scrubs off a lot of the, uh, the dirt quickly, the, uh, the residue from the laser cutting. So you can see things are cleaning up nicely here and we'll just keep going. And spending a little extra time here cleaning up the parts really makes a huge difference in the finished kit. So take your time, get it nice and clean. It's not going to take you very long and the, the time you spend here you'll be glad you did later on. So I'm switching to the 220 grit and I'm just going to clean up both sides and uh, let's get rid of some of the sawdust here just move it off the table. There we go. All right, so with that done, we're about six and a half minutes in and we're ready to start building. So I'm popping out the cross pieces here, the gantry, and uh, each of the pieces you just want to check to make sure that they all fit together before you add the glue. So just do a quick check, make sure that all the slots are the right size and everything fits together. It should, but it's better to find out before you apply glue and, and get into some trouble. So I'm applying a little bit of glue here pressing that piece in place and now the uh, the gantry brace is going to go through both that side frame and that upright and press that right through make sure that's nice and snug there we go and now the cross piece so it only fits one way and with a little bit of care you can make sure that uh, all the marks on the laser uh, cut parts are facing away so that you can't see them so that they're hidden. So I'm just pressing a little bit of extra glue on that seam there to make sure everything stays tight. And now these two corner braces, again, I'm going to make sure that the marking goes to the bottom so that when the kit's assembled you can't see those marks. And just press those into place. And that's it. And so we got the first step done. We're 10 minutes in. And now we're just going to do the same for the other side of the catapult. So I'm popping out double parts. Uh, there's a side brace, the upright, a couple of end pieces, and away we go. So just making sure again everything fits well. Yep, we're good to go. So apply a little bit of glue, snap the parts in place. And you got to be a little bit careful with that upright to make sure that the notch faces forward. And now I can attach the side frame. I'll put a little bit of glue on the cross brace as well, make sure everything's nice and tight and snug. And you want to make sure that the parts are fully inserted all the way through, that all the tabs are fully inserted into the slots. And now I can go ahead and put those corner braces in. 
There we go. And the front one as well. And now we can go ahead and put in the two cross braces. So there's a cross brace at the front and at the back they're the same piece. So it doesn't matter which one you put where. Again, you probably want to put the marked side facing inward so that you can't see it from the outside of the kit. So the two ends are on and now we can put on the crash bar. The crash bar gets glued to the very top of the gantry and it goes with the two points facing towards the long end of the catapult. So there I've got both pieces on, everything's done, and the base is pretty much done. So we can move on to the throwing arm now. We're about 15 minutes in or 14 minutes in. And so we're going to glue the two halves together. It's really important here that they're evenly spaced, that you can uh, see through the hole all the way and that uh, everything's nice and even. We're going to have to sand that area where the bowl is going to go. So just take your sandpaper and just scrub it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just lets the glue adhere a little bit better because this is where a lot of the stress gets taken up when you fire, uh, fire your catapult. So you press that in place, make sure everything's snug, and we'll go ahead and do the torsion, uh, the winders. So we've got all the parts off the kit. Two winders get put together just with the bar facing across. And this will allow us to power up the catapult. So a little bit of glue on both sides. There we go. Piece in place. And now we have everything ready to go ahead and actually assemble the catapult. So here I'm going to give you a little tip. To thread the, uh, the cord, it helps if you have no fraying on the end. And to get rid of that fraying, you can just add a little bit of super glue and then snip off the end and you'll have a nice um, almost like a pin to press through all the holes it makes your life a little bit easier so here you can see we've got the part ready to go and we're going to start feeding it through so what we're doing is we're forming two full loops through the frame of the catapult and over the winder bars like that so we're going to start by feeding it through the outside of one of the winder, the, uh, the winder plates. And we're going to thread that through, pull it most of the way through, and then go through from the outside of the frame, across through the middle, out the other side of the frame. And then we're going to thread it through the bottom of the winder plate on the opposite side, over the bar of the winder plate, like that. All right. And then we're going to feed it back through the outside of the frame, across the middle to the other side, and then basically repeat the process. So we're going to pass that up through the bottom of the winder plate on the other side of the bar to where we started, like that. And now over the top. It's a little bit fidgety here. There we go. All right, so it's over the top. Now we're going to feed it back through the frame. Through the middle there. Excellent. Back through the underside of the winder bar on the other side. And we'll just finish that all up. my big fingers in the way here. All right, just about finished. And through the winder bar. So now we want to place, now that we've got that all set, we're just about done. We just want to place the throwing arm cup side up between the uh, the cord. So you want to make sure there's two cords above and two cords below and then snug everything up. You see how that's nice and tight? Place that in a notch and now you're just going to form a double knot over the winder bar from where you started. So that's one knot, make it good and tight. There you go. And the second knot, good and tight. And now to make sure that that knot doesn't go anywhere, we can just add a little drop of glue to it. 
and that'll keep it uh, from un unraveling at any point. And when you breathe on the um, the super glue, actually the heat and the the moisture from your breath actually kicks off the uh, the super glue and uh, it makes it cure faster. Little tip for you. All right, so now we have the catapult is basically done. All we need to do now is uh, wind it up. So turn it half a turn on one side, half a turn on the other side, and you can see it starting to rise against the bar. And we'll just go a couple more turns each side until we have enough tension there that we can throw our ammo. You don't want to over tension it because you can actually pull the whole catapult right apart and uh, and break it. So now we're last step here is just to make the trigger. So take your ordinary paper clip, snip off the short end, and you're just going to form it into a little D. So fold one side over, then the other side over, and snip off those two little ends. Careful you don't get that in your eye. Perfect. So you can see the little sort of a D-ring that we've formed there. Now we're going to open that D-ring up and feed it through the hole in the arm on the under, on the underside of the throwing arm. So just work that the two ends of that through and you can squeeze that shut with the pliers. You can do this with your fingers if you have strong hands, but uh, pliers will make your life a little bit easier. That's perfect. So that's the catch. Now we're just going to snip off the loose end of that, form a D in the short arm there, trim it up, and now that's your trigger. So the trigger goes into the back, catching the, uh, the catch. You are now completely finished. So the only thing left to do is throw some ammo. I use uh, kernels of popcorn or a little bead, anything that's, uh, that's nice and light and you can fire away. Hey. Well, that's about it. I hope you had a great time building the kit and it turned out fantastic. I'm sure it did. Uh, if you have any suggestions about what we can do to make these videos a little clearer, or you have uh, comments, leave them below. And be sure to subscribe. We're always coming out with new kits and you're going to want to be the first to know. Bye for now.